All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm Niz. We're going to be casting the Semi-Pro Cup Series Grand Finals, where we've got the Ritsu Fan Club on our dire side. There's Zeno Kid if you're following along in the brackets. They're going to be going up against Agent Flow Plus Four. And we just saw Ritsu Fan Club beat Mountain Dew in the semifinals. And uh, they picked the Faceless Void, which Jonathan may or may not have landed a few chronos. <laughs> We're having a little bit of fun with that in the chat, but uh, either way, it's going to get banned out here in the first round. As Agent Flo, he was watching. He saw he saw Jonathan's faceless void, and he had to respect ban that immediately. I'm just I'm just joking. I'm having having some fun here, but uh, guys, I want to remind you this is Semi Pro Cup Series, and you can find out more about that at SemiProDota.com. So head on over there. You can check out the brackets. You can also sign up uh, once this tournament's done you can sign up for next week as we do this every single sunday starting at 5 p.m eastern and as long as whenever it's the last sunday of the month we also have a hundred dollar prize pool where uh, you can bring home not just the bragging rights but also a little bit of pizza money and i found out during the break that the hashtags that's ryu or ryu i don't know how to say it but i'm gonna probably say it wrong Whichever, whichever way I say it, but uh, uh, that's who's going to be... Uh, he was playing the Slark last game. We're going to see who he plays this game, which might just be that life sealer, as we saw that get banned out in the first round last game, but this time it squeaked through because we have the Elder Titan and the Faceless Bo Void banned out by Agent Flo. Ten seconds so that allowed the, the life stealer and uh, some other heroes to make it through. But the other Five three heroes remaining. are all heroes that we saw last game, so we're going to see the Lion and the Earth Spirit Picked up by Agent Flow going with the same support duo that Mountain Dew ran last game, although not really too successfully. Before we jump around too much, let's, let's cover all the bands. We've got the Beastmaster and Doom banned out by Ritsu Fan Club. Then it was the Elder Titan and the Faceless Void banned out by Agent, uh, Agent Flow. Remaining. And like I said, Lion and Earth Spirit were the picks for Agent Flow. And we had Lifestealer and Skywrath Mage pick up by the Ritsu Fan Club. On to our next round of Reserve bands, where time. Slark and Darkseer were removed, as well as Bounty Hunter and Timbersaw. And we'll see who Ritsu Fan Club chooses to pick up for their third hero. Of course, they're going to be looking for, in, in one of their remaining three picks, some way for to deliver the Life Stealer, um, whether that's a Puck, whether it's, I mean, maybe a Storm Spirit. Um, it could just be any hero that naturally likes to pick up a Blink Dagger. Uh, anything like that, it's just an easy way to deliver the life stealer, something that's going to jump you into the fight, and life stealer pops out of infest and he wreaks havoc on everyone on Agent Flow. Of course, I guess there's the off chance that we could see the life stealer rushing to level 11, picking up a radiance as well, and hopping in ancients. Not the biggest fan of that strat, but we do see it from time to time. We saw it. Work really well. It actually was it Ritsu's team. No, it was um, it was uh, Manila qualifiers, and it was Visa's. Visa did it on Life Sealer against Ritsu's team. That's what it was, and it worked really well too. <laughs> they had no way to deal with. They had no right click to kill the uh, the ancient. But there's the pick. It's going to be a Vengeful Spirit. Team pick. So I guess that's somewhat of a way to deliver a Life Sealer. I guess. I imagine they'll still look for something else to go with that. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. It's Agent Flo going to pick up here. Reserve time. Probably go with their offlaner at this point in the draft. Notice both uh, second round bans from Ritsu Fan Club were targeted to remove heroes that are difficult for the life stealer. So they removed the Slark. I'm um, here that becomes difficult a little bit later on when we see more clashes between the teams and Darkster makes it difficult in the laning phase. So removing both those heroes. One of the heroes that's actually a pretty good counter to Lifestealer is actually the Lone Druid. He doesn't do too bad at all. 
And he's left around. I'm not sure if anyone on Agent Fool plays it, but there's another one, Axe. So like I said, probably their offlaner getting picked up here. One of those heroes that can just lock down a Lifestealer. Not the best um, counter to him because Lifestealer will be able to to eat away a bunch of the, the HP from Axe. Of course, Axe, when he taunts, he gets that plus 40 Five armor. And typically he he's pretty beefy to begin with. But the uh, percentage uh, HP time. that's stolen from Lifestealer will kind of go real... Basically, right through that armor. I think. I think it. I think it does the damage regardless of the armor. I don't think it removes that or deals the damage based on the percentage, and then it's reduced by armor. I'm not actually sure on that mechanic. But either way, it's going to be something that's going to be able to lock down a target. Primarily the life stealer for someone else to kill it. They do have some good CC in the line as well. Which is good at uh, locking down the life steal whenever he doesn't have that Ten rage up. Remaining. Five seconds gyrocopter. remaining. It's gonna be a gyrocopter Radiant for the Ritzy fan club. So maybe this is not gonna be a safe lane farming life stealer. We have seen life stealers off laned in the past. We've also seen gyrocopter mid, so that could be an option as well. I mean, we saw a PA mid last Ten game. Seconds remaining. So I don't think running gyrocopter mid is that out of the ordinary. We used to Five see it uh, remaining. run quite a bit by complexity. Dire team back. Agent Flo is going to pick up the jug. Because they're looking pretty mid-game centric here. Ten seconds remaining. Once again, we still don't have uh, Five a free delivery remaining. service for the life stealer, which you don't have to run with, but it's not bad. And there we go, banning out the Radiant death prophet. So once again, we're moving a mid here that's going to be strong in the mid game, and that you know runs the risk, or you run the risk of not banning out the death prophet and just being pushed down by the death prophet and the jug and the axe and all these heroes that Ten seconds really remaining. spike and really hit their hit their stride in that mid game part of the game. Five Midpoint part of the game. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna ban out the Slardar. Radiant team pick. I like that ban. It's a hero that's gonna allow both the Gyrocopter and the Life Stealer to do a lot of damage. It's a hero that also naturally picks up a Blink Dagger, so he typically would blink in, get a crush off. Of course, he can then do that with a Life Stealer inside of it, him as well. Ten seconds. It'd be remaining. pretty scary. I like that ban from Agent Flow. Five seconds remaining. Who are they going to pick up for their mid laner? It's going to be Razor. So we saw it get banned out Dire team in pick. the previous game. And who was it that banned it? Was it? I think it was the Ritsu fan club that actually banned it in the final the final pick. Cool. Final ban. Oh. And it's going to be a Queen of Pain for the Ritsu fan club. <laughs> so that's looking like Gyrocopter... Safe lane, Queen of Pain mid, Life Stealer off lane, I guess. And for Agent Flow plus four, Axe off lane, Jug safe lane, Razor mid. So what it's looking like. We'll see if they actually take to those lanes, or we're gonna see something completely different. But I think, I think we'll probably see that. We may also see Axe not always in the offlane. Whether he starts in the jungle, makes his way towards the offlane, and gives a little Ten bit of space for remaining. one of the supports to be up there in the meantime, after he gets a few levels in the jungle, or we see the remaining. reverse of that, where he stays in the where he stays in the offlane, gets a few levels, and then hops into the jungle where he can farm that much quicker. We'll see exactly how they Prepare choose to run the axe, battle. but but for another ado, we got a teams and players to introduce. Once again, I'm Niz, and we're watching the Semi Pro Cup Series Grand Finals between Agent Flow Plus Four on a Radiant side and the Ritsu Fan Club or Zeno Kid in the brackets. Get a GLHF in chat from Agent Flow as he's going to be playing the Lion for his team. We've got Silent playing the Earth Spirit. Zerfax is going to be playing the Juggernaut. Tunerla is on the Razor, and unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce that. He's going to be playing the Axe. 
on to our dire side where we got WWD in the Ritsu fan club. WWD is going to be playing the Queen of Pain. We've got Yoana playing the Ventral Spirit. 30 seconds to battle. I completely missed there. We've got Ryu playing the Gyrocopter. Yes is on the Skywrath Mage. And Jonathan is going to be playing the Lifestealer. As we can zoom in a little bit here on Ritsu's face. Why won't it let me draw? There we go. Let's frame it up a little bit. All the horns going to sound and we're going to get started here. Yeah, starting items. The battle Note the, the smoke picked up by the lion, but everything else... Nothing standing out yet. The battery runes are going to be split between the two teams. We're not going to see what we saw last game. Or the Ritsu fan club managing to secure both. Yes, going to try to snipe the courier here. Just waiting to bring out a healing salve. WWD, WWD got his rotation in. Career's still going to wait. Yes is going to be patient. Let's take a quick look at our lanes. It's going to be the Razor in the mid lane going up against the Queen of Pain. Top lane is going to be an off lane axe. And going up against the safe lane farming gyrocopter where we got a support ventral spirit. Bottom lane is going to be an off lane life stealer going up against a safe lane farming jug. And the two supports down here are going to be a lion and an earth spirit. As we've got action in the mid lane is yes, has opened up on a tunerla. Going to bring him down below half. In fact, to get him quite low, down below 100 HP is yes, going to walk in, get a couple hits from the tower. He rotates away as Tunerla pops a healing salve, and now he's got that smoke from Agent Flow and Silent in behind him. Pretty close to expiring, but yes, might actually get picked off here. But Agent Flow got close enough for his smoke to pop, but they're not going to be able to get close enough to actually get an engage. Silent's going to go for it. He's going to roll on forward. The way they're not going to have catch. I'm a little unsure about them leaving this 1v1 in the bottom lane. They don't actually know how this 1v1 lane would go. What have we here? Silent managed to snake the bounty rune there from Joanna. He's trying to secure it for WWD. Haste. He's off to a pretty early lead here. Seven and one. Or sorry, nine. Uh, eight and five. There we go. I'm reading the wrong one. Eight and five. CS right now for the Queen of Paint compared to just the five and three from the Razor. Silent once again rolls in. It's not going to connect on the WWD. Yes, also rotating towards the mid lane. And just below mid is, is Silent sitting there, but we've got Alrin off to the right side, hiding in the trees. So he's going to come out, and they're going to try to open up onto Yes, and this is going to be first blood for Agent Flow plus four. Agent Flow is in position to cover their retreat. He started coming in, but uh, he, he wasn't needed. I got the kill without him. But good positioning, nonetheless, from the line. Quick pause here, so I'm just going to quickly... Mute my mic, I'll be right back as so. Oh. Sorry about that, we're back. We're resumed. Here's we got Agent Flow and Silent rotating down towards the bottom. Gonna put some pressure on the Jonathan. Not the easiest gank in the world though. Nail is really getting bullied in this mid lane. WWD's gonna jump and get the scream off onto Tunerla, who's gonna bottle tick himself back up, but he's gonna be very low on HP on the end of this. 300 HP with an empty bottle. Not a position you want to be in, as the Queen of Pain just hitting level 5. And level 6 is gonna be right around the corner. Checking on the axe, who's just completed his Tranquil Boots. There's 10 CS so far, and now he's going to bully Yoana. Ryu comes in, tries to get a little bit of harass damage in. Now, one spin from the axe. 
Gets them down to 300 HP. But here comes Yes. And now Axe may be overstayed his welcome. He's going to turn around and get a taunt off. But he's dead as soon as that completes. Well, in the bottom lane, we had Alrin. Sure, not Alrin. Um, Agent Flo and Jonathan die. Romero is still behind here. 13 and 5 CS compared to the 19 and 9 from WWD. Open wounds in the bottom. This is what I'm talking about. Like, the life stealer in this bottom lane, I think he, he would do quite well against the Juggernaut. So I really don't think that they've got the opportunity to really just leave Xerfax down here alone. The problem is, is that tunerla has been having difficulty in the mid lane. He's been getting bullied as well. So you've kind of got both supports trying to... Or so you have, you have your supports trying to uh, strengthen both lanes. And help out both lanes. That being said though, like, the, the axe should be able... The, the gyro should be able to do alright against the axe by himself. But, I mean, the axe, you know, should be able to still get some CS and uh, stuff up here if he's given a little bit of space. But really, we haven't even seen Joanna making many rotations. The bench has just been up in the top lane, shutting down the Axe. Axe is currently only sitting at 14 CS, which is actually almost on par with the Razor at this point. And it's all, it's all been yes, just kind of rotating towards the mid lane. And providing that little bit of extra damage into Tunerla. And keeping those supports jumping back and forth between the bottom and the mid lane. Jonathan going to hop out of a creep and he's going to try to open up on his airfax here as Agent Flo's there doing a little bit of body blocking. Oh, here comes WWD who is about to throw at the alt. There it is, going to jump in. Not going to get the stream of pain off. Agent Flo, quick with the hex there. Scripter? Jonathan now opening up onto Tunerla, but Tunerla just starts sucking away all his damage. And he'll be able to get the kill there, so that's exactly what Tunerla needed. With uh, the mid lane not really going the way that he wanted. Xerfax trying to juke in the trees. Yes, dropping a sentry ward there to get the brief vision. And he'll claim the kill onto the Juggernaut. Meanwhile, Tunerla going to get another kill here. He's just going to kill the Vengeful Spirit, but here comes Ryu. As as uh, Yes ended up dying down here to Agent Flo while that was going on as well. But we're still tied, five kills apiece. But honestly, I think that was uh, a pretty big win for Agent Flo plus four. They got a double kill on their Razor. Yeah, they lost their Jug, which isn't ideal, but I think it's more important that their Razor gets back in the game with uh, how things have been going. Is now going to have to spin and try to get away from this call down. He'll be successful, but unfortunately, Agent Flo doesn't have spin on Lion. So he goes down, and now in the top lane, we're going to get a push from Silent and the Axe. So WWD comes in, going to throw out a dagger. They're going to get a taunt off, they're going to kick a rock, but WWD is going to be okay. The bottom lane now, Xerfax getting harassed back is yes going to chase after him there is omni slash available so yes has to be careful of a turnaround bottom tower is under attack but as soon as Radiant's that jug goes to turn around the silence is there from Dyer's the skywrath but he needs to be very careful of the vision of those trees and now yes he's chased too far and spin from xerfax is going to mean that yes isn't Radiant's going to be able to provide enough damage will miss me. we'll just have access to his auto attacks and the skywrath mage goes down so, an aggressive play there, but it was read perfectly by the other heroes from Ancient Flow. This is now the Axe in trouble. WWD's going to throw out the alt. And it does hit. It does do a lot of damage, but he needed one more auto attack and silent. With the push there, will prevent it from coming out, allowing the Axe to TP away. Great play there by, from silent. Well, 
quickly jump around and see who's got what in terms of items. Looks like Phase Boots, Ring of Aquila, and a Helm of Iron Will. So building that into a Helm of the Dominator before probably going for the SNY BKB route that we normally see. Radiant's Treads completed by the attack. Life Stealers. He's got Ring of Basti and an Orb of Venom, as well as the, the Iron Talon, which I believe he started with. WWD's got his Treads, Bottle, and a Robe of the Magi. Two now. TP's into the mid lane with his Treads and his Aquila. Looks like we're going to have uh, Drums coming out from him with the Bracer. Oh, nice bait there from the Gyrocopter. As the life stealer is coming in from behind inside this ogre frost mage, he'll jump out of it. He'll go on to Agent Flow. It looks like he will be able to get that kill onto the line. It's just a matter of time. But we're gonna lose Tunela as well. Top tower is under attack. So the Ritsu fan club, nice play there. It all started on a really nice bait from Gyrocopter. As they started going on Ryu, he backed up. He fell back, kind of pulled them away from the tower. They all kind of stopped here. They realized that they shouldn't keep chasing, but then it was too late. Then Ritsu Fan Club all engaged, and we had Jonathan swinging from behind. And there's this really well executed play there from the Ritsu Fan Club. And it all started on that really great bait from the Gyrocopter. Just, they didn't hard commit on the Gyrocopter, but they followed far enough for that play to develop. Plenty of pings coming out here. They know Jonathan's here. They can't really punish him, though. Smoke from Silent and Agent Flow. They're just going to sit in behind Tunerla. What they don't know is that WWD is sitting here in Viz. They're going to engage on a yes. And WWD is still going to sit there in Viz. So, smoke successful. They get a kill on the Skywrath Mage. And now Yoana rotates in. So have some time there on the, on the invis. They're going to use it now as they open up on the Tunerla. they will try to drain some HP, but the damage is already done. As the Razor takes a fall. And 9-7 to seven now, the lead for the Ritsu Fan Club as we switch on over to our net worth. We can see WWD leading the way at 4.8k. We got 4.7 for the Life Stealer. 4.5 on the Gyrocopter. Now at 4.8. As he gets a little bit of extra gold there in the top. Finger bang going to come out from Agent Flow onto Yes, who is getting quite low. Now we'll get hexed up. Ha Silent should be able to finish the kill there. He needs a, another attack. One more. No, he won't. Yes, turns around. 7 HP. Gets the job done. We missed a little bit off camera, but Agent Flow also went down. Very, very close. Very close to Silent getting the kill there onto Yes, but he used his magic stick. And turned around, got that extra last last uh, uh, last hit that he needed, the extra auto attack. And got it done. The WWD already has one Oblivion staff completed. Middle tower is under attack. What about Jonathan? Just picked up a Yasha. Agent Flow still waiting to complete his tranquils. He's almost at the gold to do so. With the axe up to a thousand gold. Still just just sitting on that tranquils. Long way from blink still. If he chooses to even go for it. Ring of health on the juggernaut. WWD looking to set something up. What he doesn't know is that everyone from Agent Flow is converging on this location. But here comes Jonathan as well. We do have three heroes from the Ritsu fan club down here. And Jonathan can open up onto the axe. We're going to have the Mystic Flare come in from Yes. And they're going to get that kill on the axe. But now Jonathan will hop into a creep. Zerfax spinning right away. We're going to get a stun out from Agent Flow, but it's going to be off the mark. WWD jumps in. Scream of Pain is going to get the kill on the Zerfax. And now they're going to get another one onto Agent Flow. So three heroes dead on the side of Agent Flow plus four. Despite the fact that they were actually outnumbering, outnumbering their opponents there. Four to three. And Ryu pushed up in the top lane, brought down this tier 1 tower. 
Radiance Courier has been killed. Oh, WWD to snipe the courier as well. So things right now not really, really looking too good for Agent Flow Plus Four. As Yes completes his veil. I think the important part is that Agent Flow, they've got, they still have a good amount of towers up. They haven't lost their mid tier one. They've lost their tier one in the top and the bottom, but they're not about to lose. You know, they're not about to get punished in terms of racks or anything like that. They do have a little bit of time. Tunela still really getting the ball rolling. He just has his drums. Still waiting on the Juggernaut to kind of get the ball rolling as well. It looks like he's going to be going for the Battle Fury. And then on top of that, we really haven't seen the Axe yet. He's sitting at 0, 3, and 0 right now. He really hasn't had an impact on this game. But he will be able to once he gets a little bit more gold. Sitting at 1,500 gold right now. Blink Dagger's getting close. Of course, you expect the Ritsu Fan Club to try to do their best to prevent that from happening. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Now, Jonathan completes the S and Y is gonna work on this ancient stack. He's gonna help out Ryu. And he's gonna jump into an ancient. Once again, they're sitting in behind the razor. Swap gonna come out from Joanna. As the bench just gets deleted so quickly there is. Jonathan now running around in that Ancient. Going to do a little bit of de-warding. He'll go back to uh, his own side of the river, but immediately comes back across. Just going to run in and immediately start harassing the Axe. Who's sitting at tw uh, just 200 away from getting that Blink Dagger. Now you've got Orchid completed by WWD. They're going to use the Taunt onto the Ancient and Silent. Tries to run away, but he goes down as Ryu did a lot of damage there with the Rocket Barrage. And WWD comes in, gets the ult out, and gets the Scream of Pain off, and he gets not one, but two kills as he drops the Lion and the Axe. And then on top of that, yes, got the kill onto Tunerla, but I imagine he had a little bit of help. Got a 2200 gold swing in favor of the Ritsu Fan Club. And they're looking, in, uh, looking like they're in a really good spot right now. And they're going to add on this tier 1 tower as well. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Perfect location. Jonathan's going to be able to hop into this big dragon and allow access to that fireball. Which is pretty damn strong. I think we've probably given it enough time to let it update, so let's quickly look at our net worth. It's 12k lead for the Ritsu fan club. And about a 12k XP lead as well. Just 17 minutes into this game. They're ahead 19 to 8. And honestly, Agent Flow plus 4, they don't really have the team that's gonna scale that well either. So it's not like they're playing somewhat at a disadvantage at this point in the game with a Spectre on their side or even something like a Lone Druid. They don't really have that much to fall back on. Yeah, Jug and, and Razor can can do some stuff later on in the game, but they're typically heroes that you like to see do a little bit better at this point, which is going to help them accelerate their late game. Xerfax getting close to completing the Battle Fury, but that'll just really help him farm faster. It'll provide a little bit of oomph in the, in the team fight, but once again, it's not one of those things that's really going to really change the, the tides of these team fights. Now I have an Aegis onto Ryu. We pointed out, pointed out the Orchid. I can't even find Jonathan. Where the heck Radiant's is Jonathan? Top tower He's is up in the top attack. line. There he is. 
Oh, he's got a smoke ink in behind him. Is he gonna jump it with the blink on the axe? So we're going after the ancient black dragon. Is he gonna try to flap his wings as fast as he can to try to get towards the bottom lane to go to where his team is? They're gonna get a blink taunt off from the axe. He's gonna try to pull him back. And Jonathan gonna have to pop out of it. I'll pop the rage immediately. But they're gonna have a, a call down. It's gonna hit three heroes from Agent Flo. Agent Flo is just barely able to get out of it. But oh my goodness. WWD jumps in. Easy triple kill for him. Just throws out a barrage of his skills. And that's a bunch of heroes dead on the side of Agent Flo. We get two kills from Ryu. And it's gonna be a full five man team wipe. As they all take different paths uh, escaping the Radiant Base, or at least trying to escape the Radiant Base. The Aegis gets used, despite the fact that there's five heroes dead on Agent Flow. Tier 2 is going to fall. Silent comes in, angrily kicks a rock at them, it's going to hit two. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. But now we have Jonathan at 4,100 gold. Is this going to be a Radiance? Is he going to pick up a Relic? Radiance top tower is under Typically attack. don't see the S and Y build into the Radiance build. Radiance it looks like he might just go for it, and there he is. Sells the Stout Shield, picks up the Relic. And a blink taunt from the Axe on the WWD. Agent Flow throws out the Finger Bang, but it's right into a freshly picked up Lincolns. The courier literally just flew in and delivered that. Right before that happened. That's really unfortunate for Agent Flo. Of course, he's a lion. He's got the mana drain to easily get rid of the Lincolns. But he just didn't know that the Lincolns was there. Threw out the finger bang. And it got blocked. First set of racks down on the top. So now they're going to dive all the way to the fountain here. We're going to get a swap off from the Ventral Spirit as Yuno will be the first one who goes down. But it's going to buy enough time for WWD to start cleaning house. As he gets a kill on Agent Flo and a Tunerla. As Airfax gets a kill of his own as he drops Yes who will immediately buy back into the game. As you can definitely feel that Ritsu fan club, they're, they're very much in control of this game. And they are uh, maybe playing a little bit carelessly there, going a little bit deep, chasing all the way to Fountain. WWD is going to throw out the ultimate there. It's actually only going to hit one. As the axe actually blinked over it and got the taunt off. But really, no one, no one close in that exchange to dying. And Jonathan once again sitting in an Ancient. He does have the Radiance completed. As Yuna's going to get a swap. He's going to lead to the Axe kill. Also her own death. As Jonathan jumps out of that. Gets a kill on Agent Flow. And now he pops a Rage and runs away. As this Razor largely considered one of the, the counters to the Lifestealer. Not really getting much done. I see it get pointed out in chat right now. My boy WWD putting in work. And absolutely, WWD's been... been He's been doing work this game. 10-0-7 right now. As what the heck is this? They they, they don't stack. Fights. Right? <laughs> they definitely don't stack. But we have three Dragon Lances. From Ryu. I, all right. Sure. I mean, it's really not a bad item. Agi strength and attack range. Not bad. Mainly just the Agi and strength that uh, Gyra likes to have. Similar to, to why he likes picking up the S and Y. Oh, we're going to get a five-man smoke here from Agent Flow. They're going to run right into the Ritsu fan club. And they are ready for it. But yes goes down first. As, oh, whoa. Gyrocopter starts doing a lot of damage. He gets two kills. Zerfax going to spin and TP himself out of that. Jonathan in the Ancients going to get a kill of his own. Meanwhile, off onto the right hand side, WWD dropped to Nerla. And four dead on the side of Agent Flo. <laughs> I 
I have no idea what that was in reference to. But uh, either way, the GGs are going to get dropped here as the Ritsu Fan Club going to take the Semi Pro Cup Series for the week. And they're going to walk away with an extra $100 in their pocket as they beat Agent Flow. Plus four in this best of one. Uh, so, guys, if you're interested in playing in next the next uh, Semi Pro Cup series, you can just go to semiprodota.com and you can sign up there for next week's tournament. But you can also check out the bracket from this week and see uh, all the teams that played up against each other. We had w the Meme Regime that won last week, so. Uh, they they were once again playing again in this tournament. They actually played O2W, the team that they played in the finals last week, in the first round. But neither of those teams, of course, making it to the finals here where we had Ritzy Fan Club take it. But once again, it's semiprodota.com where you can find the brackets and all the information about signing up. Everything's completely free and open to sign up. So just find four friends and sign up for next week. And we'll see you again uh, Sunday at 5 p.m. But that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Once again, I was Niz. Hopefully you enjoyed the cast. And hopefully you'll come back next week to enjoy some more. But uh, that's going to be it for me. We'll see you again next Sunday.